Yeah, and make, sure. make sure you mute your mic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. Nah, just to make sure you don't say anything crazy. We'll, we'll be live. Yeah, just don't don't incriminate yourself any further, Zista. <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong. Live. Live. Uh, you let me know when we're ready, Stevie. Oh, shit, I think we good. Yeah, Fucking think... live on a Friday night. What's good, Landon? <laughs> How you feeling? Appreciate you. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. Yeah, they already tapped yeah. in. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I gave them the wrong goddamn link. Motherfucker. It's cool. <laughs> Copy. Sneak. Huh? Oh. Uh, we're live. I know. 19, we live, but I got a 20. I gave him the wrong link. What is it? What is the title on this video that you have live, Landon? Come on, man. Uh, just Benzino versus Stevie Knight. So we're right. I just see my boy Mike just hit me. Yes, sir. I can see. I can see the. Uh, oh, you know what? I can't. See. I can see the comments through my phone, so we're all good. What's going on, everybody? We're just making sure that Stevie got everything right on his end, and then we will start talking. It's been nonstop back and forth, real quick. <laughs> Already, both, both of these men have some uh, some things to get off their chest. Uh, so I'm gonna let them do that. Is it really that, ser- is it really that serious? I mean, is it really that serious? This is how y'all feel about this. You tell me. I don't think so. If you ask me. I'm on third twenty five seconds, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Back. No problem. We got it. Should have grabbed some. I gotta stop drinking. I'm some brews. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm turning into an alcoholic. Nah, that's all good, bro. Nobody passed me the drink. Easter after after uh, this, I'm gonna call right. you up. I got a crazy. Uh, in, in we good. Meeting. We good. We good. We good. We good. We good. All right. So, a lot of people have been <laughs> reaching out to me, and they wanted to see. You know, they they started telling me about you, Stevie. Uh, shout out to my guy, Mike, out in Buffalo. He told me, you know, these guys, you, we resemble each other. We're doing the same shit in the same lane. And he said, we should work together. I don't know anything about you up until this That's point a few days ago. I find out who you are. And um, the next day or two days later, all of a sudden, we're connected because you're talking about the interview that I had with Benzino. Yeah. And That's how it um, goes. And then, you know, I spoke to Benzino about it just a few days ago. Um, while he was out in the, in the woods and, um, he had some stuff to say. So I was like, you know what, let's get, let's get these gentlemen in the room together. Uh, Benzino was good. Cool. You're upset about some of the things he was saying. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm not even like, I don't know him. I don't know these YouTube guys. Um, it's like being upset. It really, I, I mean, I know what the internet stuff is, and I know all the hype and everything. So I guess, I, you know, to, to hype it up, it, it, I would have to be upset, right? But in all real actuality, it, it's hard to be upset with people that, that you, you don't know, you'll never hang out with, you'll never meet over accusations or narratives and shit. I'm be honest. Like, I don't, I don't really, like, I really don't put that much emotion anymore in, in motherfuckers on the internet. I just don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know Stevie does this blog, like a, a, other YouTubers. I'm be honest. I really, okay, now I know that, that world is serious to y'all, right? I get it. That's y'all's world. That's not my world. I really never knew about him. I really never knew about the other guys, the Knox Hills guys and the Evolve. I don't know about these dudes. It's only because my kid, Ray Ray, and a few other guys is telling me, you know, that, that you know what I'm saying? Like, who they are. But I don't. It's not, and I was telling Stevie this, like, it's not my world. Like, I know I know for a fact that that's what y'all do, and the internet is y'all's world. I get it, but that's not my world at all. 
It has no effect on me. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, I, if, if, if the Internet's talking about me, right, I don't know them. So if they're talking about me based on whatever it is out there, then that's them interested in me. I'm not interested in them. And it's no disrespect. I just, I just, I don't know who you are. And I just don't put too much stock into this YouTube um, influencer shit unless it has some positive shit to do. If it's negative, then why would I even care? Let's be honest. What about how, how do you feel, Stevie, about what he said? I mean, I hear you, bro. But like, based on what I've heard you say, that that statement doesn't seem to fit. Like, I say based on what you said a couple of days ago with. Danza, like you had, you had some things to say in regards. What did to I say? Let me know. Tell me what I said. Uh, I mean, the gist of it was like, you know, he pretty much he a, he a Uncle Tom, he a bootlegger and all this shit because he support. I, I mean, I mean, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like anybody that is always tearing down the next black man for something like you don't, you don't know me, yeah. like, and 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 if it, and most of it's because of the Eminem thing. Like most of it is that. No, all of it. Every, the only reason why. Right. Now, now my theory is this. Yeah. My theory, and then I'll let you talk, bro. My yeah. theory is this. My theory is most of you guys, right, that do your channels, praise Eminem or like put on content for Eminem because you know that Eminem has a huge fan base. Yeah. So it's not, it's not like you're doing it for anybody else. So you know automatically you can get locked in to all of Eminem's fan base. Now, you do know that most of his fan base, right, and maybe we can get shed some light to this so you can understand. Like, a lot of Eminem's fan base are white people who, who don't even like black people. Now, a lot of Eminem's fan base are white people who don't even listen to hip-hop. A lot of his fan base are just white people who just want, because of hip-hop, he's the let most... Me, let me ask you a question, because I, I, want, I want to address this. Cause I don't want you to okay, okay, just let me finish. My, let me finish. I think it's yeah, right. No, I get it. I just, I don't want to forget what you just said. said. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, okay, let me finish. Yeah, now, if you right, ask the right, question, right, I need to finish my point. point. I don't want to forget what you just said. You, you you're okay? Well, then write it down. So let me just finish my point. So my point is like a lot of Eminem fan base are racist, and they only dig into hip hop and Eminem because he's there as the number one selling artist, as the biggest artist over a culture of black people where hip hop is the number one influence in the world. So let, let's understand who his fan base is. And really, a lot but what of do you base that on? What do you base that on? Why, 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 why do you feel like the most, you feel like most of his fan base only tap into Eminem, or tap into hip hop because of Eminem? Because, uh, well, let, me, let me explain why. Let me explain why. Because for the last 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. I get, I get, I get, I get so much racial niggas. I've been called so much nigger shit. So much, like, because I can see through this. You, you need subscribers to feed your family, to pay your bills. But that's cap though. That's, that's cap though. That, that, that may be valid for like other content creators, and I understand what you're saying. Like that, like it was, it was validity. It was validity towards some of what you said. Well, a lot of what you said, in big picture, because some people ride that Eminem train. Yo, hold on, what to my thing? Well, Here we, we go. go. Like, like I keep. I no, well, a, a lot of people ride the Eminem train to get views. I understand that, bro. But like specifically for Stevie, and I want to keep myself out of it. because I want to speak for the majority. But like my channel is a bit different. But I wouldn't expect you to know that because I don't imagine you tapped into like how I got to where I, where I am right now at this point. Because the, the way I view music or the way I viewed music like four years ago was more along the lines of what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? But like I tapped into Eminem when I first I got to close Eminem. I didn't fuck with him. I didn't, I didn't like him, him right? And, and then I got, got an opportunity to fucking dive into his shit and really got to got got them see what this fool has been doing the past 20 years. And that made me appreciate what he does to hip hop, what has done for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not your, the regular motherfucker that's riding him. What does he do for hip hop? Pause, pause real quick, y'all. Yeah. There's some weird echo. Zeno, did, did your phone geek out? Hold on, hold on. I could hear him good though. Y'all, y'all hear any echo? No. Do the people on the YouTube hear an echo? Yes. Okay. I, I don't think it. Z, I don't think it's you. It's just something in the YouTube. Let's see. It's somebody, oh, it's because it. There he goes. He's got it. He's. Is the echo gone right now? 
No, no you can, can hear, hear it. it. No, I'm saying right now, now that he's gone. You can, you can hear, hear it with everything. everything. Can you hear it? I don't hear anything. Yeah, I don't hear it at all. Uh, is, is, it, is it better now? Is it better now? Let's see. I'm waiting on... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting, waiting on it. Just like is, it is it better, Landon? I, I think, think so. I see what it looked like on my side. Okay, okay we, we good. good. We, we good. good. So, so the, the question, question I'm asking, hold on, hold on, right? ZZ, hold on, let Landon... You fixed it. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Okay, good, 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 let's go. All right. All right, so, so the question, question I'm asking Stevie is, Stevie is right, right, you said Eminem done, done so much hip hop. To be, be specific on, on, on I'll what you, I'll give you one, one, I'll give you one example of that. One? One? No, I'll give you a few. I'll give you a few. Okay, but like, please, the, 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 the bridge that this man has manufactured from his existence doing this shit, like, who do you think put more money into into hip hop outside of Eminem by the global, by his global reach? Right, I, I have conversations daily with people who they'll tell me the history. They're, they're, they're true, uh, uh, authentic, one hundred percent hip hop fans that tell me more about hip hop than I fucking know. And their introduction into hip hop was Eminem. You know what I'm saying? They weren't checking for hip hop at all. But like, I, I understand where the where the I guess the negativity comes from because you have an issue with a it's white it's man. echoing again. Uh, yeah, see, is, is somebody trying to call you or something? Is that why it's happening? No, ain't nobody's calling me. My shit's no, on no, air. It was, it was good for a second. Uh, they said it's know. on. They said it's on Steve's end. It's on my end. Oh, I think we might yo, be good. Yo, okay. yo, 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 mic check. One two one two. Let me know, Landon. You? Okay. Yeah, good? mic check. You, you sound good to me. Mic check. Yep, yep, you yep. Guys. Zister. Yeah. All right. All right. Now it's good. All right. So look, this is it's, uh, you got to understand, and, and it's going to be tough for you to find middle ground because uh, you know, Z, I was talking to you earlier, and I know you're angry it ain't about that some things. Just I, talk, I know, man. but I also know you're angry about some shit too. I'm not angry. Why you keep saying I'm angry? I want to say he's angry. I just feel like no, he, not he not even about that. No, you know what? You know what? Because see, I'm gonna keep it hundred. I'm gonna say why you're angry, right? I think that the truth is, when, when you do speak on it, I know the real you, and I had the conversation with you. Some people do way too much in your DMs, in your family's DMs. You know what I mean? For over 20 years. And then I, so you're allowed to be mad about that. But, but hold up, Bro, hold up, hold hey, up. Hey, let me up. tell you something. Let me tell you something, dog. If, if, if I was Benzino, bro, I can only imagine the amount of fucking heat, toxic ass stands have given you for the past 20 years. I understand that, but that's not reality, bro. Like that's not the real world, bro. But but you 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 but represent. How can you say like, on one you, hand the internet? How can you say that? It, no, but you, you rep, no because internet, you're in No, because didn't you because, just tell me? Didn't you just? No, tell you're me not I reality, bro. Me, you're not reality talk. in the grand. Okay, all right, all right, all right go ahead, right, go ahead, go ahead, right, go ahead. All right, just calm down, bro. Relax. Let's let we we're not going to be able to interview if 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 you keep screaming and yelling. You just told me. My bad. I'm just talking loud. My bad. I didn't realize I was talking loud. You just told me before this that that the internet is the real world and it's turned into yeah. the real world. But now yeah. because it's not the real world, when I'm getting hate, look, 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 look. This is what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna keep it short because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue or debate with you. I'll just log off. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Listen, my thing is this, bro. Like, if okay, you made a point to say Eminem's bridged the gap. You say that he's done for hip hop, and I'm trying to figure out he bridged the gap. What he hasn't bridged no gap, bro. And this is the problem. And let me probably enlighten you so you can see. Once again, America, all right? America, now, I, I don't, where, I don't where, where are you from, Stevie? Where are you from? Where, Atlanta, where you Georgia. From? All right, so you you here in the A, right? Like, okay, um, America is, you know, there are there are places, have you been to, like, in, in, in the Midwest America, like, in the Midwest, have you been, like, to Idaho, Nebraska, Wisconsin, places nah. like this? All right, nah. look, Stevie, so look, right, there's places in America that never see a black man and that yeah. never want to see a black man. We have to come yeah. to the, to the, we are, I, and, and, and that's not because of me, Stevie. Like I didn't, right. Benzino didn't do that. That's yeah. the history of this country, Stevie. Okay. No, but history. no, you can't say well, history, let, me just, let me, let me finish. No, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop that right there, bro. Cause that's not, that's not reality, bro. Yeah, it's we both, we both gotta get, let, let him interject bro. a little bit. Let's get it. 
I mean, let's get reality, to it. Stevie. No, that's geographically, bro. They're that's white in Idaho and Missouri. About, They're white in Idaho and Wyoming and Montana because geographically, that's where white. But how is that not reality? But but how is that not reality? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much grip? Talking does, about, bro. How much grip? How much control does Idaho and Montana and Wyoming have over hip hop? Listen to me. Are you gonna listen, Stevie? You gonna yeah, I'm listening. Me? I'm fine. That's fine. All right. Well, you can learn something, bro. Why don't you? Why don't you All listen right. and learn something instead and stop cutting me off, man? All right. In the Midwest, right there, are, you got white people that that don't even deal with black people, right? Most of the most of the white people that deal with black people are the ones in the inner cities and that grow up with them. But but unfortunately, Stevie, there's a lot of white people that do not deal with black people. Okay. The funny thing is that's how Trump is getting all the votes. Trump probably really isn't against black people. I don't know. His father was a Klan member. But Trump gets the votes when he says stuff like bad stuff about Mexicans and bad stuff about black people. So he's going to get, because he knows that, that, that he don't have to say nothing else. He'll just run on um, make America really white again, and then he'll get all those votes. Understand, Stevie, once again, when Eminem came out, Eminem is from St. Joseph, Missouri. He was Eminem, born there. That's where he's from. Uh, uh, right, right, right. He was born but, there. That's where he was from. I was born he in was Texas. There. I'm, I'm from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're born there, if you're born there, that's where you're from. What the no, fuck it's not. That's not where you're from. You could. I was born it's in not Texas. Where you're from. Not that's where you're from. That's where you're at. If you're watching, if you're watching right now, on whatever stream you're watching it on. Bro, he lived there. Hold on, Sister, Let me let me get in there for a minute. Let me get in there for a minute. No, no, no. Hold on, see. Hold on, see. Chill out. Relax. Give me. I'm not with this shit. All right, but relax a second. He's, <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> All right, so look, whatever stream, I'll get him back on here, but whatever stream you're, uh, you're watching on, um, you know, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button Facts. on the Danza Project page, I like the, and also I like the people the that are watching the Danza me. Project. Because without Danza, I wouldn't even be here giving Benzino the business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew, I knew he was gonna get mad. I knew something was gonna happen along the line. Bro, because this shit ain't making no sense, dog. <laughs> Landon, you still there? I know he's he's probably yes but, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, so let me let me get that this thought off real quick. If you're watching on the Dancer Project page, uh, make sure you head over to Stevie's page and hit him with a, a like and a subscribe. And your your YouTube page, so they know. Yeah, Stevie Knight. Okay, that's you pull up Stevie Knight. And yeah, be there. There he is. He's back. And then if you're watching on Stevie's page, head on over to the Dancer Project. Look, I know that. Uh, you obviously we do we're in this game. We're trying to get subscribers. We're trying to grow. I'm gonna give uh you know one of the one of the people that comment on the page, Landon, and you can pick somebody randomly when they head over to our live. Just just do hashtag uh, Benzino versus Stevie Knight, and then I'm gonna give one of these people a hundred dollars that that go over to the page that um hit that like or hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment that on there. Um now and then all you gotta do if y'all got cash at PayPal whatever, I'll send it through to there. Benzino, please for just do me a favor. I got you, all right. I we it's it's good that we had the conversation at least because I, I I spoke to you earlier. You you just have points, right? And then I spoke to Stevie and he has points. And I think if we could bridge the gap, it's definitely important. But it ain't gonna be simple right from the jump. We're not gonna be able to bridge the gap, bro. It's just simple and it's all right. Some some br some bridges can't be some gaps can't be bridged. I'm not gonna debate and argue with nobody and get cut. I'm not doing it. It ain't that serious to me. You know, you know what the craziest shit is? My life will go on. And I can, like, th this doesn't affect, he's in his world, I'm in my world. We will never cross paths. What, what does it matter? He has his way of thinking, I got my way of thinking. We're not going to be able to bridge the gap. I already see it with him. It ain't come, he's, he's already drunk the, drunk the Kool-Aid. So it's cool. That's cool. He, he's, he, Eminem, Eminem got, Eminem got a loyal one. That, that's cool. I'm not going to do that. If we're going to have a conversation, I'm going to talk, then he's going to talk. If he's going to interrupt me, I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore because it, it it ain't that serious. All right, I'll let you. My bad, Benzino. I'll let you talk, bro. My bad, dog. 
Stevie, all I'm saying is this, bro. Look, number one, I'm just trying to get my points, bro. That's it. And, 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 if, and, if, and if you don't see it that way, I don't have any problem with that, man. We can agree like men to disagree, bro. It's not no hostilities. It ain't no anger. Like, I know that's what gets the clicks and comments. But, man, we got to see beyond that and just be like, 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 really, like, you know, like, come on, man. Like, I don't, I don't got nothing against you, bro. I don't know you to have anything against you, to have hostilities against you. You do your YouTube thing. I respect it. I do my thing. Respect it. And that's just it. The Eminem thing. Listen, bro, I've never met him. You've never met him. Why would two black men sit here on a, on a, on a, on a live arguing over a white man we ain't never met? And, and we'll probably never meet. Like, it don't make sense, Stevie. And, and listen, bro, let me tell you, I get it. I get it. He got a big fan base, and by feeding, the, you know, drinking the M&M Kool-Aid feeds that fan base. And if that's what feeds your family, my nigga, then I'm not going to fuck that up. And I'm not going to say shit. Do, do, do your thing, black man, and get your money. But the, but the reality, the reality of my reality, how I see it, is just how I see it, all right? I've been around a long time, and it's just how I see it. I believe that his fan base... Most of them, and I'm not all of them, but most of his fan base are racist. Most of his fan base just use Eminem just to fucking put out white supremacy bullshit. Most of his fan base care nothing about a, a black, nothing about a black rapper. And I'm gonna give you an example. And I've said it before. Him and Royce came out with an album, Bad versus Evil, and it sold a lot. It sold maybe a million copies. Royce came out with an album six weeks to two months after that, and it, it didn't even crack over 50,000 copies. I don't even if it cracked over 30, all right? Th that, you just got to do the math. What is that telling you? That's telling you that all his other white fans did not fuck with the black man who was just on the fucking song with him. Same thing with D12. Eminem gets on the album, they go double platinum. Them niggas do something on their own, nobody buys their shit. Like, is, is it, is it possibly because nobody cares about their content, though, that it ain't that good? Well, well why wouldn't they care about their content if they're down with Eminem and there's so much bridging the gap and, I, and this and that? Oh, but let me just finish. Okay, if, if, they, if, if, they, if, they, if they do, then they're supposed to support the black artists, too. That's why there's no other black artist on his label. That's why they all end up flopping or, or leaving. But, I mean, Yellow Wolf went to his label and he flopped, too. He's white. Okay. Because Yellow Wolf's not that hot. He's not that hot. That's, no, what, I'm saying. That's nice. what I'm kind of saying Yellow about the nice. other people. Yellow Wolf was kind of Yellow more fired than them at the bro. time. Can I, can I respond? For sure. It's because it's, it has nothing to do with race, bro. It's because everybody That's was there to see Eminem, and that was it. Eminem could make an album with Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Beyonce, right? It doesn't matter. Everybody's there to see Eminem, that's it, bro. Like, it has nothing to do with race. It's because they fuck with Eminem. And the, and I, I think you have, I think you have, I don't, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but, you know, white people are the majority in America. You know and, and what that means. But, but let me, let me finish. You asked, you, you asked me to be quiet. Right. Let me, let okay. me finish. All right. All right. right. And it's not, it's not white privilege. It's majority privilege, bro. The majority, oh, what, yeah. listen, listen, let me, let me, finish. Let, me, I can laugh. let me finish. Let me finish. All right. <laughs> but this is what it is. This is what it is, bro. Think about anybody that listens to what, what they like, bro. It's, it's the, it's the relationship. It's the relativity, the connection I have with this artist. The majority of black America cannot, cannot connect with what Eminem is saying. I would argue that the reason why most people support the artists that they support is how they relate to that artist. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about that. If, if, if Eminem, of course, Eminem is nice, but Eminem is representative of what is the majority of America. So by default, he's going to get all of these, the support and the fan base he gets because he is how he looks. And on top of that, he can back it up because what he does lyrically. Like you, you just getting mad at reality, bro. It's like it is what it is. If 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 a white man went to Africa trying to do Afro beats, they're not gonna fuck with him because that's that's not the majority there. Majority privilege, bro. It is it is what it is. I, I I'll say this because I'm I'm over here being super quiet, and you know I'm not a quiet motherfucker, but I enjoy the fuck out of this. You know, what I mean, I I don't mind being a referee. Goddamn it, the shit's kind of cool. I'm about to be a. But I would like to hear Fantino's response to that, bro. It's not racism; it's just reality. 
It's the fact that most men okay. are stronger than women. Women can get mad at men because they're stronger than women, but it is what it is. The majority of America is white. You got a white boy out here that can cut everybody's head off lyrically, but at the same time, like, like lyric, like name your favorite artists, your rappers. Do these rappers have Stan? Do these rappers have Till I Collapse? Do these rappers have Lose Yourself? Like mm-hmm. he got the bangers to back it up, and on top of that, he has the shit for the culture, but the culture would never even dive into even find out if that shit exists because they look at this white man thinking it's just nine inch nails and that's not Eminem at all bro this motherfucker literally, literally do everything in hip hop okay okay that's your view on it I respect it that's your opinion it is true that, that, that it, it is true that what's that, true no, what's, okay, what's okay, true okay so let me let me, let me get some words off too damn Zister, come on I can't talk because you're talking about I, the true, referee can't what's talk true. today I'm gonna tell you what's true Go no ahead. no let, let me say what I'm true. thinking what's true right there no matter what there is gonna be oh, right. whenever Eminem does drop right. something people are gonna fuck with it regardless if it's whack or not, white I'm people, I'm gonna be people. say white people say white people. I, I, there's a no, lot you of got, you got you got some black that's guys. That's important. Who say white people. Not, I'm not one that's of those. That's important. Bro. Say white people. Hey, let me, hey, let let me let finish me first. Let, let me finish what I was saying first. Let me finish what I was saying first. Let me get a second. Let me get a Finish what he's saying. All right, let me get a second. When you say people, say white people. But you 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 you're not even letting me get to the point though. I know I know without a doubt. Look, I know I know without a doubt. No, no, no. When you said he could drop anything and people are gonna buy it, you gotta okay. say okay. white people. <laughs> I, no black people. I know, but I didn't it. even get to finish my thoughts. So you ain't small, even... No, no, no. Very small percentage. I don't small, disagree no. with you. Honestly, I don't. All right, thank All right. you. I think that it's it's well documented in hip hop, and there's been a lot of very popular rappers that have spoken up and said, you know, we don't bump that shit in the hood. There are a lot of um, there are there are a lot of people that speak on it. Um, I forget recently there was just uh, somebody, uh, maybe even today or yesterday, that came out and said, I think it was Boosie, um, that said, you know, that's not what we do. We don't yeah, listen to him. Like so I know that by far. He can't re- exactly. He can't relate to it because you just said it. He's not in our culture. He's in their culture. And let me tell you this. The last fucking four or five albums he's dropped have been straight garbage. And not just the rhyming, but also the fucking beats. Let me ask you a question, Stevie. Eminem gets Sir. 60 years old. He's around the corner from 60. We all are, yeah, 50, right? Huh? Okay. Yeah, no, he's really, no, 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 no. He's really a couple years older than that, but we'll leave that alone. But look, let me all ask right. you a question. Eminem said he was never going to rap into his 50s. He lied, right? So let me ask you a question. When Eminem is 60 and he's long gone, what are you going to do with your um with your YouTube channel? What are you going to talk about next? I mean, that, that that just goes to show that you don't not inform them what I do, bro, because my shit is not Eminem specific. Well, why don't you tell me, Stevie? I, I'm sorry. You tell me. I'm saying, though, bro, like, I support Eminem because I realize what the no, fuck I'm it is. No, I'm asking you what else you do. What else do you do on your YouTube? I, cover music. I have two channels. I cover music right. on one, and mm-hmm. the other channel, I cover just life in general. Okay. Right? I, got, I, got a, I got a nice audience on both, right? It's not just Which Eminem one do you have more? Which one do you have more? I have more on my music channel because I started that exactly. shit first. Exactly. No, I started, no, no. I started my music channel first. My my okay. other channel's growing fast. My music, my music channel, bro. Okay, so okay, so Stevie, so, that's, so so let me tell you what I've done. You know, you mean let me let me give you a little. I didn't little, ask you. You asked me. Get, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, but maybe I should tell you. Maybe because I don't need don't to know. know it, bro. Yeah, yeah but I'd like I don't to say need it. To know it, bro. I'd like, like to say yo, you just yo, said yo, yours. Yo, your, your, your I'd like to say it. Are skewed, dog. Okay, go ahead. I'm, all right, I'm, I'm gonna wait till you finish, but I'm gonna say what I've done. Go ahead. But I don't need to know that. Like, I'm gonna say it anyway. But I'm gonna say it anyway. All right, say it. Say it. Go ahead. Say it. Say it. I'm gonna say it anyway. Say it. Um, so, uh, I own the biggest magazine in life, all right, that, and that documented this shit, all right, that documented when there was no internet, all right, all right. and we started in 1988, all right, all right. and we, and, and I also invented the Source Awards, which was the blueprint for what BET's doing, all right, all right? What's BET doing, doing, doing now? Award shows on, on hip-hop, it, my, it's my blueprint. The first, the, we, we did a two years contract. They came in, we, we, we um, did the Source Awards. They bounced out of the contract and then did the BT Hip Hop. Everybody knows it. But anyways, let me keep going. Um, I produced on Nas' the Stillmatic album. That's my biggest production, the intro on it, all right? That's my biggest production credit. I've been on many, um, I, I, I invented the Source Hip Hop hits, which sold over 5 million copies on Def Jam Records, all right? Um, 
Uh, let's see. Let's just keep going. Um, you know, uh, I got a question. I, I, had, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had a top 20, I had a top 20 song called rock the party and turned the, and toured the world with that. All right. Um, 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 you know, uh, we was making two and a half million dollars a month with the source at our heights. All right. We did amazing things at the source magazine for 18 years, Stevie. After that, I, I, I invented hip hop weekly and did that for seven years. All right. Okay. After yeah. that, after that, I dibbled into the, into the into the reality TV world and got on about four or five number one shows every show I was on. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, brother, you know, like what you're doing with YouTube, I commend you. Good, good thing, brother. Keep, keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean, bro? I've been out here a long time, bro. What and have I've accomplished, done, what have you done and I've accomplished, and I've accomplished, I've accomplished, I've accomplished what have way you, more than you, and I've accomplished years, way more years. than you. I've accomplished way more than that's you. Valid, that's valid, but like, I, oftentimes, I, I, oftentimes, I, I, I'll let oftentimes, you talk. in the world of psychology, yeah. when yeah. people attack you, yeah. they know that they're fucking wrong, dog. You gotta attack me personally. Yeah. To I'm not attacking your you. I'm just Eminem. telling you. Like, I'm just, I'm just, just telling said? you. What you I'm just, just telling you. I'm what, just telling you. I've accomplished you way is more than you. But what you? That's irrelevant to the argument. Oh that's no, it ain't. Conversation. No, it ain't. Like and subscribe. No, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. No, it ain't. 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 You and your YouTube, listen, black man. Keep doing your YouTube and keep getting your subscribers, black man. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. All right, but Benzino. Stevie, reset real quick. I get it. Reset what? I Nigga, think I'm good. Shit. Yeah, fuck no, no, you I... mean reset. <laughs> shit. <laughs> fuck you talking about reset. I ain't resetting shit. I've done yeah. a lot in this motherfucker. I've done a lot in this hip hop world. A lot. Way yeah. more than him and all this. Way more than you all and right, all you YouTube quick. niggas put keep, together. Keep, keep y'all niggas dick, are respect. Don't y'all niggas are respect keep, hey, keep, to what's keep, going keep, on keep here, bro. Dick, but it don't are you, are you mad at Eminem or his fan base? Zister, Zister, are you mad at Eminem? Zister. Stevie, Steve, 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 Steve. Yo, give me a second. 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 Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Benzino, are you more able? Angry, can I ask a question? Dick Wait, let me ask a question. Like, you dick ride for these crackers. Benzino, let me ask a question, bro. I don't. Let me ask a question. Fuck out of here. Benzino, are you more mad at Eminem or his fan I'm not base? Mad at nobody. Are you more no, mad at Eminem I'm or his fan? Okay, are you more I'm not, I'm not mad at nobody? Okay, time right, out, time out, time out. Are you more I'm annoyed? I'm not mad at no racist, bro. You I'm hate white mad. people. How you can a black man be racist? White people, white people put us in chains, bro. How can a black how can a black man be racist? What you they, mean? They, they enslaved what you mean? us. A black man you can be racist by hating on the you white man. Sambo. You a whole sambo, bro. What you, you mean? You a whole fucking sambo. What you mean? Any you a whole sambo. You, you a bootlicker. You a bootlicker, bro. All right. Okay. How the fuck can a fucking black man be racist? Tell me how black country. Tell me how Yo, yo, your fucking ancestors was slaves, my nigga. Are you crazy? Are you fucking nuts? Tell What's the matter with man. you, bro? What's the matter with you, bro? Is it that serious? Is it that, is that the only way you can get money by sucking these crackers nuts? <laughs> the fuck is the matter with you, bro? Bro, you know, you so out of touch with reality, bro. It's crazy. I'm over here trying to press white yeah, right buttons and shit. Yo, 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 bro, yo, bro, you suck white dick. That's not reality for me. I don't. Relax, bro, Asia. You're racist, you're racist as fuck. fuck. You're, you're racist, racist as fuck. fuck. You're racist, that. period, dog. Say what you want, you're racist, nigga. period. Fuck, the nigga. only reason why Benzino fuck was you. fucking relevant fuck you, is nigga. because he raced me, nigga. Fuck you, he, he fuck gives you, a, he gets the culture. Fuck you and fuck up. He gets fuck you with all your crack of friends, nigga. Being nice fuck and you. No, no, no. Eminem's fans are racist. No, no you racist, racist dog. You racist. Yeah, right. You racist. The you only reason know. why, the only you reason did. why you get so much heat from Stan is because you talk so much shit. What'd you say, so Landon? Fuck you and the Stan. Hey, fuck you and the Stan. How about that? How about fuck you and the Stan? Steve, That's I got fine. a question for you because I've been That's talking. Fine. I've been talking to That's Benzino. Fine, Steve, dog. I got a question for you because I've been man. talking to Benzino, and I'm asking you this uh, to try to understand because it just got a little crazy, right? Yeah. Would you this feel? What you want though, right? Huh? Who me? Oh yeah, of course you. Why not? What do you want? Just to click the comments. What do you what? 
This is what gets the clicks and comments, right? No, you yeah, get nah, the but, clicks and comments because you nah, talk. Yeah, you right. I get the clicks. I tried to reset. Nobody talk, talk regularly. You, you are, man, dog. Yo, bro, you, you got, got it, bro. bro. You got you it, made dog. Nothing. You got you it, dog. Nothing. Hey, I'm, You've accomplished I, I, nothing. You ain't done shit. I'm Uncle Tom. I'm Uncle Tom. You are. I'm a boy. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. In a worst way. In a bad way. You're an Uncle Tom ass nigga in a bad way. I'm a Uncle Tom. I'm a Uncle Tom. All right. All right, Steve, 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 Steve. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question while Benzino was present, because there's certain shit that I know and I see too, right? You don't think that you would be upset at that fan base at a completely different degree if they were DMing your wife every day, if they were posting pictures of your kids and attacking them? You don't think you'd have a fucking problem with them? I, I, I understand that, but the reality of the situation but is that ben, Benzino is Benzino, right? Benzino yeah. asks for that fucking heat because of the shit he puts out in the world. He's an outlier, bro. It's not reality of Eminem fans, bro. Like, I've been doing this YouTube shit for the music shit for the past four years, bro. I've even tasted the negative aspect of toxic-ass fans, bro. I can't say anything negative about Eminem because they'll come at me. And you don't. And you don't. I can't can imagine. And you don't. Benzino, shut the fuck up, Let me go. Shut the fuck up. Fuck up. Shut the fuck up. So I can only imagine. Fuck you, nigga. We can get up, nigga. Fuck you. Let's do it. Let's fuck do you, it. Let's do it. We can do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's what do it. Let me let me finish my What do you want to do? Danza, Danza, Danza. Yeah. Let me finish my statement. I can only imagine what it is to be a Benzino, bro. Because I, what I do, I, I, I fuck with him. And never him. Be I fuck me. But I hold him to a standard, bro. So. If there ever comes across a song that I don't fuck with, the stands attack me because I say something negative about Eminem. And I must and I support Eminem. So I can only imagine the type of toxic ass racist hatred that a Benzino would get, but Benzino asks for it because the shit he puts out in the world, bro. Yeah. Like only reason why Eminem is yeah. popular is because he's white. He asking for it, though. That's not reality, bro. So but Eminem ain't like, asking for it by dropping that disc. Stevie, Stevie. Eminem wasn't asking for it by dropping that disc. The equivalent of a Benzino is like a KKK member being mad at black people. That's the equivalent, bro. That's how much he hates Eminem, dog. He's but but wait, 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 wait. You did did did, did Eminem not just drop a diss track unwarranted at Benzino? And I, and I, what did bro, Benzino say like to start it. that? I didn't like it. Go to go to my reaction of it. I didn't like it. Look at the fucking comments in my fucking video, bro. They like, bro, fuck you. It's blah 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 blah. Okay. Bro, I can't I can't have my opinion. I did I, I didn't I didn't plug it. You okay, I mean? so no, that's what I'm saying. So I don't think Benzino brought this upon himself this time. The last time that Benzino had a oh, conversation, Benzino give me one second, one second, one second. The last yeah, time yeah. he had a conversation, he was on No Jumper, willing to bridge the gap, said, I will sit down with them. Immediately after that, comes out a diss record towards him. So he was actually trying to sit there and make peace. He said the same thing when he came to our podcast a few years ago. He's like, I'll sit down with him, I'll talk with him. And then all of a sudden, a diss track gets aimed at him. It reignites, and his DM is flooded. He said and that's that what I'm saying. There is two sides to the story. He said that before the diss track dropped. It was it was already bubbling. It was already popping. What do you mean? Like the, the, the shit he had with uh the fucking Adam 22? Yeah. That was after the diss track dropped. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It, it was, was before. before. No, it was before. No, it wasn't. Oh, my, my bad. My was, bad. I'm wrong. Okay. I'm wrong. I, I didn't see it until after it dropped, so my bad. That's my mistake. That's yeah. my mistake. But what I'm saying is that in the totality of the shit, bro, like who has been, who has talked, who who has made Eminem the 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 the, the context of the conversation for the past twenty years? When have you ever seen Eminem talk about Benzino? He doesn't outside, do outside interviews. He don't do when no, he bro, ever talk about when bro, it, bro, 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 bro. How many times do they ask? Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me right, talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him go. Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. Can I talk? Can I talk now? All right. So look. So look. First of all. First of all, right. Eminem's not doing no interview with your dumb ass. All right. Not doing no interviews with nobody. That's that number bad? one. Is number wait a minute. Number, number, two, number, two, number two. Number bad? two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. And more importantly, all right. Number two. And more importantly, right. At the end of the fucking day, right. I'm not in no YouTube world. I'm out here. A lot of my niggas. Listen, I'm out here. I'm not with all this. All this right here. I'm not with this shit because we could get up in person if it's a real fucking problem. Let's do I'm it, not bro. With none of this. Let's do it, dog. Let's do when? it. Let's, well, let's, do well, let's do it now, then. I'll pull up on your ass now. <laughs> Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm in Buckhead. Where you want me to come? I'm in, I'm in San Diego, dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You better be, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, nigga. 
clown ass nigga. <laughs> niggas kill me, man. You a fucking whole dick rider. I hate niggas like you. You the worst. You the worst kind. Bro, you the worst because you racist as fuck. What did you, you okay, if I'm racist, right? You what did you say? What about the Italian, Eminem racist thing? Hold, what about, hold on, hold on, hold on, dick rider. Hold on, dick rider. What about the Eminem racist tape? What about that? You racist as fuck, bro. What about the Eminem? What about the Eminem? What about the Eminem? No, what about the only the, reason oh, why you hate Eminem is because he's white. That's what about it. the That's racist definition tapes. of racism? What about the racist tapes, dickhead? What about the racist tapes? You gonna so okay, all right. We, we, we can take it there. We can take it there. All right. You're gonna you're gonna bring up again. Because you brought it, brought it up fucking 20 years ago. You're gonna bring it up, you're gonna bring it up again. I'm asking you, what about the racist tapes? How do you feel about it? He said that he said this shit when he was fucking 15, 16, he 17. Stevie, he lied, Stevie, hold on. All right, let me tell you, bro, and we gonna bring it down, bro. Because you know what? This is what I gotta get my I I I gotta get myself together because I'm allowing a white man to come at you. And I and, and I got it, I gotta do better. Why is so much why is it so much about race? See, see, let him talk, let him talk. Let me talk, Stevie. All right. Like I gotta, I gotta, like this is what's happening, bro. Like a white man is making two black men come at each other. This is crazy. Let me explain something to you. All right. The two white dudes that brought the tape to us had been trying to sell the tapes. They told us she was 21. We did our homework on the Maxell tape. We, did, we we called the Maxell company, and we got the serial numbers when the actual cassette was made. The man was 21. Okay. okay so but, 30 years but, but hold on, but hold on, hold on, hold on, Stevie. Let's just say out of blue for, for argument's sake. Because that's what they had to say because it was a fucked up situation. There was too much money riding on him, and them tapes came out. The reason the tapes came out, because the white boy said that Eminem wasn't fucking with them after Paul got with him, went to Detroit, got about a bunch of black people. They said the nigga did not like black people. He grew up in St. Joseph. Who is they? Who is they? Who is they? The two white boys that he was down with before he was down with Why are you Paul giving these two Dick. white boys so much credibility when they said Can I just the talk, Stevie? They're, Stevie, they're, they're, they're the ones that, the they're the ones that are you brought the tape up. Let me tell the story, Stevie. All right. I, I got questions. Are you, all right, that's fine, but let me tell the story and then questions. All right. Who what they they was a group, Stevie. When Eminem was born in St. Joe, he, he he was there till 10 years old. If your parents have nothing to do with black people and they're probably against black people, don't fuck with black people, that's what you're thinking. That man made a tape with these two white dudes called the Ra racist rap hour. I heard it. All right. No, you didn't hear the whole thing because because they sued us. Oh. We won a landmark case, but we could only use 30 seconds of it, and that's what yeah. we put in the source. It was way worse. Mm -hmm. Right, it was calling niggas porch monkey spooks, all kind of shit, and, and they pretty much one of the Nick, one of the white boys is dead. I don't know if both of them are, but one of the white guys are dead. Are dead, all right. So, 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 for for them to show up at the Source magazine, broke as fuck, all right, and try they've been trying to sell the tape and said that Eminem turned against them was fucked up, all right. When we listened to the tape, the tape was horrible. Mm -hmm. The tape was horrible, bro. Like I don't. Okay, so Universal Records and Jimmy Iovine, they had to hire people to spin this away. So they spun it, and they said that he was 16 and fell in love with a girlfriend, and the girlfriend broke his heart. Now, we're going we gonna, to we gonna be men right now, right? We know that 16 years old, this awkward-looking dude wasn't talking to no girls. That's bro, my man, my, Wait a minute. Let me, I'm almost done, Stevie. Right. My man Champ, I've seen pictures of this dude <clears> digging <throat> in his nose when he was 16 years old. This man wasn't falling in love with nobody. This man never had a black girlfriend. And on top of that, he never made a public apology. He made some stupid ass song called Yellow Bird Road. Stevie, did you, if you heard those, I heard you it. wasn't, okay, you wasn't, a, like, especially the one about black women. Now, yeah, I heard it. Now, do you got sisters? Nah, but I got a mama. You got a grandmama too, right? No, nah, she's not no more, but yeah. Well, I, I know, I, but you I, had I, one. God yeah, bless yeah. her. God bless you. Yeah. God bless her. I don't have mine either. And I don't have my mother. But, but, he made a whole song talking about black women are bitches, white women are better, they're whores, and then, mm -hmm. and, and, all right? Like, mm -hmm. no no person has ever, ever, like, now, now don't get me wrong, because then the argument comes back, it's like, well, black artists say bitches, it's true, it's true, but things that are within our culture, like, when I say, yo, what's up, my nigga, it doesn't mean the same as when the white boy in my DM saying nigga. It, you know, we as black people have taken so much where we could take something that is negative on us and flip it back in their faces and be like, look, we could be cool with it, but y'all can't. Listen, listen, bro, like, my Dave Mays was my partner for 18 years, a Jewish guy. I grew up 
under Italian men through my father. Now, though my mind was shaped from growing up in racist Boston as Eminem mind was shaped as growing up in racist St. Joe's in, in Missouri. Well, our minds get shaped when when you, Boston, when I was young, Stevie, was racist as fuck, bro. If you can go online and go look in the 70s and just kids in the 70s to the 80s going to a school where it was all white, it was like, go look at all the marching and, and motherfuckers trying to turn the buses over and have to get police escorts. Bro, I'm from this, Georgia. I'm, I'm, I'm old, so I've, I've experienced it myself. No, but you know, it's ill because my girl is from Atlanta and, 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 and she's like, damn, I didn't know Boston was that racist. Like, bro, like, that's how I grew up. But my father, all his guys were Italian, Irish, Jewish, and that's how I got to look at white people like, damn, maybe all white people ain't bad. But all I'm telling you is that Eminem made that tape. He made it. Now, can people change their views? Of course. And that's a great thing because hip-hop bridged the gap. It didn't take Eminem to do it. Hip hop did that. that. Way before, wait a minute, way before Eminem even came out, white people was buying into Run DMC a long time ago. We was bridging the gap. It's only until white people said, you know what? Mm. We're bridging the gap with white people who, who, who fuck with niggas. But there's a whole bunch of white people around the country, like you said, the majority, who don't like us, who don't fuck with us, but they still will buy his shit. That's what will happen, world, Odin, 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 it is a sad world, but what will happen, Stevie? This is what, and this is the only reason I came at the situation. It wasn't per se me going at Eminem personally. It really was the machine that's trying to do what he did. I was in a position where I had to sell a magazine, a very powerful position, very powerful, right? All the labels <laughs> had to come fuck with me. Eminem actually was in our unsigned hype, all right? Like, so way before he got on and before he got signed, right? Eminem. The, the stars aligned. He got with one of the, if not the dopest black producer in history, my opinion, all right, and got with a machine. They pumped a lot, a lot of money into this kid. He got special treatment at MTV and everywhere else, and voila, we have this phenomenon. What happened was 100 years from now, and I've said this before, Stevie, we're all going to be dead, all right? Hip-hop, 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 Stevie, came at a time where Black people were fucked up with crack and the guns and jails and courts and everything. And hip hop came and actually saved us. I believe it was sent from God. And, 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 and it brought white people to the black culture, which is a great thing, Stevie. You made a point to be like, hey, white people come. Yes, we want white people to buy into us. We want, we don't want problems. Black people generally can't be racist because we don't want problems. We just want shit to be fair. And it's still, and it's still not fair. Landon, you see, is white. Me and Landon are cool as fuck. I would never disrespect Landon. And when I say crackers and everything, I mean no disrespect to Landon or nobody else, and it may seem like that. But I'm saying it to the, to the, to the white people who are racist. There is, a, there is a lot, I'm talking millions, of white people who have nothing to do with our culture, and they just want to be, and then 100 years from now, once we're dead and gone, People are going to go on history and they're going to be like, damn, there was a, a period of time where black people were getting money. Look at this shit. Look at this. It, it's not like when they go to the cities or the 70s videos. They're going to come to the 90s, 2000s and be like, man, these young black men were. But guess what? Someone's going to have an argument and be like, yeah, but there was a white man who was the number one who rapped better than all of them. Same thing with Elvis. Do you think for one second a black man didn't play guitar? I know the history think? behind it, bro. I know the right, history, but, but, Yeah, but look at what happened. What, look at what happened. Like, Elvis, Elvis now... can't hold a candle to Chuck Berry, bro. Ah, man. There he is, there he is. Can I talk, though, bro? Wait, what yeah. happened there? <clears throat> we can't hear you, Z. He can't hear us. Like, shit, it's on mute. Yep. Cuz ain't talking about nothing. All right, so let me step in. Let me step in. Let me step in for a second. Uh, Again, for everybody tuning in. We can't hear you, Z-Ster. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Z-Ster. I got it. I'll I'll, I'll shoot him a text. (laughs) All right, so listen. If you are watching right now, uh, what I'm trying to do is 
you know, get people together to have these types of conversations because I feel more growth will come from it, even when it gets fucking wild. And it does. It usually does get wild. Uh, it definitely got wild in here for a little bit. Now, if you are watching, again, this is the Dancer Project bringing out Stevie Knight and Benzino to, to sit in the room together. If you're watching on Stevie's page, head on over to the Dancer Project page. Let me get a subscribe, a like, you know what I mean? Just tune in. If you're watching from the Dancer Project page, I also want you to show the same love to Stevie Knight uh, because, you know, he's he's obviously doing a lot of dope shit. A friend of mine kind of... You know, he's like, yo, you got to uh, find out who Stevie is. He's dope. He sends me some links. I, f I find him. He's dope. Um, but because because we're bringing people over to the page, I got you. So just send me the cash apps in the in the uh, chat, and I'm going to um, give somebody. I'm going to pick one or two people to give $100 to. Just hashtag your cash app, and, and th that's it. It's that simple. I'm trying to figure it out because at the same time, I'm – trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with Benzino's audio because it's cut right now. You hear me now? We can you hear me now? I got my headphones. I got my headphones. Come on. Now. So what I was saying, listen, hold on. What I was just telling Stevie, I want to, I want to, if you got this, I apologize because what I, what I got to stop doing and, 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 and I'm do, we doing this in real time. I can't let, I can't be trying to hurt a black man over a white man. And again, bro, I am not racist. I love all people. It's just that you, what you got to understand, Stevie, is that there's a big part of America that is racist and that only lacks on to this guy that has been, for 20 years, I've been going through this shit. Now, I have sat on Adam and said, yo, bro, I want to be cool and I want to go check. Eminem doesn't do interviews, bro. He don't do interviews. And see, my thing is, if we're all, if he's, we're all doing this together and we are bridging it, then he needs to come and speak on shit and, and, and answer these tough questions. Why did you do the racist tapes? Are you racist? He don't want to do that. And Paul Rosenberg and the rest are telling him don't do it. As long as as long as long Marshall keeps his mouth shut, they can keep making trillions of dollars off of him because they know once he does interviews and these questions get asked, he's going to crumble. Now, I've seen him on Mike Tyson, right? And, you know, Mike, Mike's my man. I was waiting for Mike to say some shit, but Mike didn't do it. And, it, and when I'm looking at Eminem, Eminem looked at petrified that, that damn, is he going to say some crazy shit because what the fuck am I going to do? And Mike did it. And I don't know if Mike was asked not to, but I seen that interview and I seen how petrified this man looked. This man, I'm not saying, I, I can't say he's a bad or good man, but what I can say, he don't answer to nothing. You see how me and you are sitting here going at each other? This man don't give a fuck about me or you. So it's okay. It's okay. He shouldn't. He shouldn't? No, why? Why would he? But wouldn't you want him? Wouldn't you want him to come on your platform? Of course I would, but like I live in the real world. Like, what benefit does that give him? He don't owe me shit. But I, I am observant of what's actually going on. And right, but don't you think all hip hop, all all people should do interviews and everything? What? Like, oh, why does he no, get excluded? I think, I think people should do what the fuck they want to do. Okay, so you don't think that Eminem should be doing interviews? I mean, you you don't think it's a problem? That Eminem doesn't do no interviews with nobody. No, I don't. I think Eminem has done enough service in the industry to chill out right now. Like Ben's, oh, and then like, man. and you got to be a hundred. You got to keep it real, bro. Like, why the Jesus fuck? Christ. At the end of the day, like, why the fuck would Eminem come and speak to try to fix an issue that you have with him? Because every, no, it's not me. He got to he got to answer to them racist tapes, nigga. What are you talking about? Can I say something he that I feel like Eminem should speak tape. up about? Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, Miguel. When? When? Uh, I have the I, I, I Benzino. I can send you fucking hella links where he's addressed this whole. When? 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 I, 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 please I can, I can, send me what? I can send. Okay, them to you. thank you, thank you, bro. Because I've never seen. Okay, so in the links, what, what is he saying in the links? Can you post the links? Can you post the links? I'm gonna send them to you, bro. Why like, won't you dude, post them? But why won't you post them? But why would I? I don't. I don't. Why would I? He, why he, would I post them? Why you. would I post them if I don't believe Eminem is a racist? But every other black man is accounted for. But but uh, when, when every other black man gets gets, you see, thug fighting for his fucking life right now. Every other black man has to come on and be accounted for. Fucking life because he did what he did. That's a Rico charge, bro. Like this motherfucker had a whole. How much longer do we got to do this, Miguel? 
<laughs> Nigga, how much longer? We got it's eleven forty seven. Yeah, how nah, much nah. longer we I mean, it? I mean, in all honesty, we got a lot out. I do want to add something real quick though. Yeah, because look um, at an hour's good for me. We've been you know what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, it's, good, it's, good, good it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. But what I wanted to say, huh. um, Stevie, is do you do you feel that Eminem should speak for the for the to his fans that do get out of control? Just kind of be like you you know, like is it, it would it would it not be very powerful? If he were to stand it would up be powerful, and say, let's, but I can let's say the same like, thing like, if you guys the... want to bash Benzino, cool. Like, like, imagine he got up one day and he's like, you know what? And he just made a statement like, yo, I know a lot of my fans. I always hear a lot of my fans, um, you know, and, and I don't believe those people to be my fans. However, he wants to word it. Uh-huh. Attack, attack Benzino and, and use foul and It's always racist. on the internet. Let me finish but the motherfucker do that. Let me, that let me, let me tell you it. something. One thing about it. it. 20... All right, go ahead, Miguel. I'm good. My bad. What, go ahead. The, the, when when it, could he get out there and talk to the people and say you know what using the racism is foul y'all want to attack him y'all want to call him Benzino dog y'all want to bark y'all want to do all this shit cool leave his family and the racism out of it if he were to say that do you not feel like that would be powerful? I, I think it would be a mute point <laughs> because because <laughs> if but but think of, think about the beehive think about the barbs like every. You don't think they have control has, over their bases? Everybody, every celebrity has a monster following. following. They have radical ass fans that say the craziest shit. So if you're a person that attacks their artists the way Benzino has been attacking Eminem, he's going to get the most radical shit all the time. So it doesn't matter what the fuck Eminem says. Even if Eminem addresses exactly what the fuck Benzino wants Eminem to address, it's not gonna change the way these motherfuckers feel about Benzino. It doesn't matter. Why won't you post? Why won't you post the links where he where he apologized? Well, so the, I, only I, I, why, the only reason why I will Steve, post after send them to me and I'll post them. Benzino, which makes no sense. Send them to me after and I'll right. to post them. All right. right, I don't mind posting them. I bet you he won't. <laughs> Who me? I bet you he won't send them to you, uh, bro. Okay. Hey, hey, Benzino, go to your go to your phone. Go to Spotify. Go to Spotify right now. Okay. Well, I can't because it's gonna cut off the thing. I'll, I'll check when we're done. Uh, well, go to go to go to Spotify. Go to Royce the Five Nines album. Go to Allegory and click on Perspective. Bro, bro, bro listen, bro. We don't want to hear no dumb shit. Like we want a motherfucker to get in person. And be, not, we want listen, it's bro, not, bro. No, we're no, not no, trying no. to hear no. Listen, the black community don't want to hear no fucking music. It's we want music. him to stand. It's not music. It's not. Right. Music. Well, it's, so what? It's, it's, it's Eminem what? talking. It's Eminem talking. Oh, okay, music. okay, okay. And what is he saying? What did he say? Please tell. Oh, no, listen to it. I'm not gonna say shit. Listen to it. Go to go to fucking. But I'm Spotify. asking you, Stevie. Can you just no, tell me a no, couple of things? No, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what I say, bro. You fix it. Okay. Oh, hey, yo, Landon. Hey, Landon. Hey, Landon. Can you go to Spotify and listen? To what he's can, can, hey, Lady, can you can you get it in right now? Like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, don't do it because play, it's don't do it. No, 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 I, what, what we'll we'll remove it. I'll remove it after. Or, or is it not good for your platform, Stevie? Because you know more than that. It's not good for his platform, and he knows it. No, but no, it, it bro, but it, it just, does I, it does cause not, flags. When I volunteer the information, yeah, bro. no, it does cause All flags. Right, so play it, Landon. Play it. No, I don't want it to cause a flag or an issue on on Stevie's page. <laughs> man, how the fuck is it going to cause a flag with him saying good things or trying to make up no, for no, no, the no, shit no, that he that's, said? That's not what you happens. Know, it's copyrighted it's, it's material. Copyrighted if you music, play it that's, on that's this podcast, if you play it on this on this man, screen, this shit is stupid as hell, bro. How come this man didn't fucking get in front of a camera and apologize to black women? He don't owe you shit, Benzino. I just said oh, apologize yeah. to black. I just said apologize to black women. Did you just hear what he the fuck I said? He apologized in Yellow Brick Road. He apologized to black women. Are you, right, bro, how much longer we got for this, Miguel? Just, we can end whatever, it right now, bro. This motherfucker's not receiving right, right, anything, right. dog. We can cut it off, bro. This mother, it's like talking to a fucking wall. You're like, a dick. Hey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I was ready to pull up on Benzino, your bitch ass. Eminem is white. Yeah. He's fucking yeah. racist. It is what it is. All right. Well, okay. Then that then that's what it is. Then are we done? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I, I was hoping it went a little bit better and we were able to sit down and find some sort of... I mean, there was some dope shit said. At the end of the day, there was some dope shit said that I feel like it's super hard 
to bridge hey, a gap from hey, the time hey, frame from where you see it, hey, Miguel, you know, I, hey, I look Miguel, at two valid points. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Miguel, do you do you think he should have said something in person, Miguel? You personally? Yes. Hi. I do. Huh. And why? Why is that, Miguel? I feel like it. I, I feel like it would be very powerful if he did, and I feel like if anyone were to do that today, if we ever heard, like it doesn't. A lot of us imagine Trump. A tape came out about Trump, and he was saying that he'd have to answer to it. He'd have to. But, but Eminem has answered to it. He answered to it twenty years ago. Okay, so this is that the, the way he answered it back then was very awkward, though. No, thank man, you. He thank you, Miguel. Brick Road. He told thank he, you, Miguel. He, he, okay, Miguel. Miguel. okay. You know, Yellow Brick Road. I don't know about. Can you tell me about that? Thank you, Miguel. It's it's a song that he said he was six some bullshit. Miguel, should he have got in front of a camera and answered to it? Yes or no, yeah. Miguel? I will say that the right. the the, the, the right. what he's talking about when Benzino is talking about, I feel like I, I feel the same on that. And I'm I, I'm Thank not you. I'm not against Eminem at all. I'm a fan Thank of Eminem. You. Um, but what I'm saying is, it wasn't a valid explanation. It wasn't. You, it was. It was covered up a little bit, and that was proven. Thank you. So like, thank you, bro. It, it, it actually was proven in court. Yeah, thank you, bro. You know what I mean? Thank like, you, this, bro. This did go to court, right? Thank you, bro. And it was proven, and they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they lost, and they had, and they had yeah. pay. They had a pay. So, off so what I'm lawyers, saying is that, that his his initial response was actually proven to be a lie in a court. You talking so, about the initial response and Yellow Big Road is proven to be no, false. No, no, Yellow. Listen, listen, bro. We went to court. He wasn't 15 when he wrote it. He admitted he was 21. It's all like we won the case because they tried to get us for copyright infringement after they said it wasn't even him. But the bottom line is this: that Yellow Brick Road shit just um, um, pushed the lie of Jimmy and them saying that he was 16. He did not get in front of a camera like every other black man has to, every other man has to, and say what well, I, I was wrong. I was young. I should have never said it. He, he's not held. Bro, I, to, I, I, he, I get that. Uh, I get that. I get uh, that. I'm, uh, I'm kinda, I'm, uh, I want to minimize the hostility, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I understand your perspective. I understand what you're saying. And if that's what you think Eminem should do to make certain people feel better about it. That's how, that's how it. Miguel thinks too. No, I said certain people. I said certain people. I, I, I get it, bro. But like in the re we could ask the chat take, too. Take, 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 let me talk. It's, it's yeah, taking, ahead, a, taking a taking a taking a few steps back, bro. Like even if I was to entertain the fact that Eminem himself was oh. racist at a certain point in his life, 21, 22, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. Uh -huh. Are we still holding someone accountable to the extent that Benzino is trying to get the culture to go against Eminem at this point? I just want thirty years I just, later. I just want. Would, would we like, ever look you, at you as a you as a bro? Are, 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 are you gonna fuck with? Are you gonna fuck with Zimmerman in thirty years? Like you know, what I'm saying that's, that's, like that's, that's good, but I, I didn't fuck with him in the first place though. No, I know. I'm just saying no. like when when it comes you, to whoa, it, thank it's you, like Miguel. for, for See, a lot of people with you. Now for, talking yeah, with you, for bro. a lot Thank of people, you. Thank you. for a lot of people, Thank they you. are going to see I could flip that. I could, I could flip that Thank whole you. dynamic on you. Like, is there things that you said or did twenty years ago that you wouldn't do now that people wouldn't approve? Yeah, of? I, I, be, I believe the most important thing is change. So I believe, you know yeah, so I have, like, so I have like, changed and I have grown. And I'm not saying for people to hate Eminem. I'm not saying anything then, like that. We, again, we, I'm, gonna, speaking, we, I'm speaking from with, a fan's with perspective. That comparison, with, with that comparison, you're like, you, that was a hell of a comparison. About, about, that was a, about, he got you on all, that one, All buddy. I'm no, saying no, is if, no, all no, I'm saying is there was something racist. Wave the white flag, buddy. He got you on that one. That was a good one. Yeah, that was all, a good one, Miguel. All I, yeah, all I'm saying, is, is, and you're right, I do hear what you're saying as far as like the comparison talking to about murder. murder and yeah, I do hear that. I do hear that, and I could have used something different than murder. You're right, but I, I do, it was just something off the top. But what I'm saying is, most people will not forgive a lot of people for their racist stuff. It's Eminem superstar that allows that to be forgiven. If he wasn't that much of a superstar, it would not be forgiven. If Machine Gun Kelly went out and did that shit right now, he's done forever. It's valid. You know, and that's all I'm saying. So, like, Eminem is such a huge superstar that he's able to overcome that, and he has been. And it's uh, for, and, for, and, 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 for, and, and, for a certain Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, Stevie. Hold on, Stevie. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Let me say this. I can't hear you when you're that close yet. Most of his fan base don't care because they're already racist. So, so that's why he'll still have the fan base. Because niggas don't fuck with Eminem, they don't support that shit. He, if 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 black black people would listen, he's made money off of our culture, bro. At the end of the day, you should have got in front of a camera. He still should get in front of a camera, and he should apologize. Period. 
No, I disagree. Uh, nah, you said no. I, I just at, at thirty years later, bro. I disagree. You trying to hold Damn. somebody accountable? For something. But but, but bro, you what? said he Benzino, said Benzino, Benzino, Benzino. You was out here fucking sniffing fucking angel dust and heroin and shit in nineteen years old. Oh man, you know, oh, Stevie, now? Stevie, you it's call off, it's a, it's a you call off, Stevie. It's you a call off, I'm not like, I, I, I get what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I understand you I understand what you're saying. You now. No, 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 Bro, you sitting here trying bad. to you sitting you here trying to come at somebody. You, you sitting here trying to come at somebody. You sound just I, I want to get I want to get a question out before you, you go, Benzino. I want to get a question out before you go. Uh, Z, the there, there, there's there's a there's a tape. Everybody's saying there's a tape right now. They're trying to sell for twenty thousand. They got you didn't even diss them. Apparently, bro, it bro, wasn't even bro, you that bro, distant. Bro, 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 I had somebody just I'm DM already, me to I'm try to sell me the tape for ten thousand. Bro, bro, bro. Well, I've already said that I was in the studio, I was recording, I was in there with guys, I wrote the shit, and I was getting and, and guys gave me a few lines. It happens all the oh, time. Bro, you had ghostwriters, just admit it. So right, listen, everybody bro, knows. Bro, bro, everybody bro, knows. Ness wrote your shit. Ness wrote your shit. No, 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 Ness, Ness produced, Ness, I rap no, better than you, I rap better than you, bitch nigga. <laughs> you bitch nigga, I rap better than you. I bet you don't. I bet you don't. I need try. I bet you I rep better than you, dog. So how about this thing? So how about how about this? I got ten thousand. I got ten thousand on a rap battle between the both of y'all. I'm with it. What we doing? What we doing, Stevie? Oh, bro. What's up? Are you gonna take a challenge? I'm. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm. I'm with it. All right. So I need you to write something and let's go. What we gonna do? Are you gonna write it though? Yes, I'm about me and you. Me, listen. Me and you can get in the studio together, or I could. We could do it on Zoom, where we both write it in the studio. It'll take some hours. I'll write mine. You write yours, and then we can settle. And then we can end all this. Or, 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 I both or, or, or I could fly you both out here. Or I could fly you both. Or I could fly you both out. Oh, it is gonna end soon because I don't know studio. you. And 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 and, oh, and to be wait, honest, you and I. But I'm not important. I, I, I'm I could fly you both to the studio. You both sit uh, across from each other, and the victor gets ten bands. <sighs> I'm gonna, I, I chew his ass up for that ten thousand. Pause. <laughs> Look how mad I got him. <laughs> hey, I don't, don't, hey, bro, hey, Benzino, real shit, dog. It's been, a, it's been, a, it's been a, a, a explosive conversation, dog. But I will commend I, you on. I your, don't have like, nothing against you, Stevie. You know, I ain't got nothing against you, man. Dog. We just had listen. I ain't got nothing against got you, bro. Politics, bro. And, it, and that's all right. And we can agree. We can agree. All right. To end this with no hostility. Like I told you, any names or whatever. Even I, like I keep. I'm telling you. I apologize. Like I don't. I don't got nothing against you, Stevie. And I hate. I hate getting triggered and calling you names. You been respectful. I was wrong calling you names. All right. And I got to stop that. And I got to do better. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's it, it's a it's a it's a touchy situation, bro. And you have your, listen, you got your views, you've held your view strong, and we're going to leave it at that. I got respect. You respect me and my views. I respect you and your views. We are black men agree to disagree. And my tomorrow the sun will shine on my day, the sun will shine on your day, and we can move on. Boom. Yeah. That's a, hey, hey, y'all, went, y'all went neck and neck at each other for a while. Pause and, you know, I was in, just throwing the, throwing, the, throwing the punches out there. Oh, you know, you know what I'm doing. So, yeah. so, okay. 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 But let me ask y'all something, right? Let me ask y'all something, yeah. right? Okay. The next joke's the next joke's the next joke's, right? Yeah. But y'all do, y'all do realize, like. Now, nah, you know I'm fucking going. with you, though. You know I'm just fucking with you because you're about to lose. No, nah, I know, but I know, yeah. but yeah, but, but since you brought it up, yeah. you know, I just have to defend myself. Go ahead. Absolutely. Like, like again, y'all do realize that. I mean, I love my woman, but I've I've, I've dated some of the baddest women on the planet. I've planet, been around. Right? I've been around. I, and, 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 and they never ever said anything. I've actually got. They've never said anything about my neck. So when another man says stuff about my neck, it's just the word "weird" is being used too much, right? But as men, we shouldn't care about the way we look. Or the only way that we should look. We should care is what women think. When it comes to a man's appearance, whatever how he looks like, men, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we we really shouldn't care. That's just my opinion. That's how I was raised. I like like God made us all different shapes and sizes, right? Unless you're into men, then you should care about them. 
But other than that, like, I've never commented on a man's appearance, his neck, his nose, no, you know, his you ears. Ain't a, you ain't never thing. roasted a motherfucker for having a big forehead. Never. You ain't never roasted, you ain't never, you ain't never roasted a motherfucker. No, but I'm saying, probably I, I, never, I, I, never. I, I see, bro, I see what you're no, saying. No, I hear you, Stevie. I hear what you're saying, Stevie. And I watch, I watch people do it, and I understand it's a part of having fun. I'm just saying I've never done it. Like I've uh, never, I've never like, you know what I'm saying? And you know, people use that again. People use are gonna use anything to try to get me riled up or to make me look crazy. That one's been around for years, right? So I'm just saying that since my neck is is always it gets brought up or whatever. That it, it's never really stuck on me because it's never stopped me, like from, 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 from dealing with beautiful women. And to me, well, of course, and to me, and no, say no, but no, but to me, no, but to me, the to me that that is the only thing that when it comes to appearance that counts. And you know, it's not like you just joking with your friends. The neck joke is a is a this is a big fucking thing that the whole world gets on. It's a touchy like M- Eminem, it's not touchy because, like I said. Women don't have a problem with my neck. Like, and to me, that that's the only thing that matters when it comes to appearance. You know, I guarantee you, if you ever piss one of them bitches off and they don't fuck with you no more, they're gonna they go and they want to fucking make your ass feel like. But shit I've already you know? got the pussy by then. But I'm saying, but the fact that they bring it up comes it, it, it refutes the whole point. They're not gonna say anything no, negative to you when they fucking with no, you. No, no. All right. Well, 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 I'm saying then if 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 my neck was a problem, they wouldn't have fucked with me at the, in the whole beginning. Uh, you don't give a fuck about what a motherfucker look like, bro. If you got what the fuck they want, they gonna get it. You or you know that. Oh, wow. What do you mean they got what they? What, what do you mean they got what they? What, 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 what have they got? You know, like what you mean like that's, you what have they got? Move, bro, they attracted to the fucking status, the allure, the personality. The status. Got. I've been bagging bad bitches for years, bro. What do you mean? Like, I don't know about what you two niggas do, but oh, I've been bagging bro. bad bitches. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see me. You know how I operate. Come on now. Bro, you I'm know just saying, I don't. You know, you know, you know, I don't. I don't. Listen, listen. If the bitch fucking listen. with you, she's not going to disrespect you. Period. I know, but if she's fucking with you, she likes what she sees, bro. That's cap. That's cap. Well, oh, I That's mean, well, like if you got bread like, or something. Like what shit. she sees. So there, are, there ain't, there ain't, there ain't no motherfucking bitches out here that's trying to just I come up on fucking fat, ugly motherfuckers for what they can provide them. Yeah, but that's different. I'm not, I'm not a fat, ugly no, motherfucker. I understand, but I'm just based on what you just said. Yeah, you but Benzino ain't paying like their way. So I'm speaking, I'm speaking, I'm, I'm only speaking from, from my, from me, from me. Bitches, I'm not speaking for bitches, a fat, bitches, ugly bitches, motherfucker. Bitches, Bitches will deal with enough to get what they want from from. All right, yeah, but I know, but I'm, but but that I, that's not my case. Like, I've been bagging bitches way before I was any type of celebrity. Like, again, of course, I'm not of course, looking. Of course, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't have a problem with my neck, and women don't have a problem with my neck. That's all. I'm until saying. they, until they, de- until they done with you, then they bring that shit up. I, I mean, who bring it up my neck? What women has brought up my neck? I don't, I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in your shit. Exactly. This. Yo, yo. <laughs> anyway, bro, anyway, it's, it's it's fine, I, 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 I get it, dog. Yeah. So, uh, 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 Zeno, what's your what's your what's your final take on all this? This shit that just went down. Nothing happened. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, well done, so, 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 so talk, talk to the people. I'm about to with my with my beautiful black woman, smoke a blunt. And just relax. I mean, you know, I mean, I knew the conversation was going to be spicy, yeah. right? I, and, and I was, I got into this conversation like, I'm going to chill, calm down. You, can't you help see, it, I bro. started. You can't help it. You can't help I, it. I, I, it it's, it's hard. It's you, triggering, you stands bro. Are, your stands are hard, bro. You stands bro, are I hard. Know, like, I know, hey, but I, you know, I know. 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 I the stands can be vicious. I realize. Are you a stand, Stevie? Are you a stand? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, bro. I don't. It, it, I don't. I think you are, bro. but Stevie, I think I think you are, Stevie. No, 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 no. Why? Because why? I, why, why not? Why? Because, I, because I support Eminem. Isn't that what stands are? No, no, stands, st- stands. No, listen to me. Stands. What's the no, stands. Don't give a fuck. What the fuck Eminem does? You know, you're right. See, me, this whole interview just proved that. No, it's not. You don't give a fuck. No, it's not, bro. You just, no, you no, just, no, you no, don't no, give no, a fuck. You just, you just proved, you just proved that you don't give a fuck what he does and you're still going to support him. How? That's a stand. How? Okay. How? You gotta, okay. Why, why are like the people who want to interview decide this thing? 
Bro, let me finish what I'm saying. If if, if okay. I was around, I wasn't I wasn't pipped to Eminem during Fuller's Pride days. If I was around during that time, nobody was. got you, John. I, but listen to me. Let me finish my statement. I am. I'm, I didn't I didn't get hip to Eminem until four years ago, right? And all I know is what I know at this point, and what I've researched historically throughout this whole fucking Eminem shit. The the mindset I had five <laughs> years ago. If I was around during Fuller's Pride shit, that would definitely uh-huh. influence my perspective much much differently, dog. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I, me and Stevie Knight, I cannot. It, and it depends. There's levels to it. Like you compare Zimmerman, I, I'm, I'm never gonna fucking look at a motherfucker different for shooting a motherfucker. Yeah. But but I can't hold a motherfucker accountable from what I perceive this motherfucker saying 15, 16, even if it's 21. It's 30 years ago, bro. My, how many times have you changed as a person? How 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 has your personality changed? How has your being changed over thirty years ago, bro? Like just that's how so I look. Why at won't it. He, so why won't he just come out and just say that? But why does he need to? Because Benzino wants him. Because everybody to else, no, because everybody else has to. There is we a certain in a demographic world. that everybody does exist. Everybody everybody you know. I know because you're on because you love Eminem. Fuck Who's everybody, everybody else? Who's you, everybody you are else? you are Kingston. No, That's but who, who's everybody else though? Stevie, who's everybody else. Stevie, Name me one the, person that the did. black community, Stevie. The black community. No, there, there's tell people. Me, there's pe- there's a guy you, named John in the chat that just said, you know, com- complexion wise, you're you know you're you're a lot lighter than Stevie, and he's saying that you uh, you face Miguel, less. Uh, Miguel, Miguel, I'm just telling Miguel, you what I'm they said. They said I'm you done. face I'm less done. racism I, I than Eminem. I'm done, Miguel. Miguel, I, I'm again. We 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 was on a good path. Yeah. Again, we're not we're not. We're not gonna talk stupid or shit like that. Are you? Are, you're light skinned too. Are you white, Miguel? Huh? Are you white? No. I said you're about as light as me. Are, are you white? You no, 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 no. All right, then what the fuck, please, bro? I'm just like, telling you what somebody bro, said in the chat I, that bro, paid to ask the question. They paid. Bro, bro, they paid bro, to say bro, it to bro, you. you I'm, to, I'm reading it to you. To bring, you don't have to bring up foolish shit with foolish people say, bro. Like bring up some intelligence. I'm shit. just saying they paid the same. I don't. I know. I, was, I, know, I, was I know. I was. I was I know, just Stevie, giving them. See, I know. I know. Miguel. Miguel. Like bring up some intelligent shit, bro. Like you just said some intelligent shit. Now it's back to the somebody no, saying. I'm. I'm, like, I'm let, I don't, bro, like, look at look at look. Miguel, look Zister, Miguel, Zister, that's, it's that's, a that's, super that's, chat. Zister, it's called that's, the super Miguel, chat. That's, somebody that's, paid fifty dollars to ask you a question. Ignorant, bro. I'm just Ignorant. saying they paid fifty dollars to ask you a question. Miguel, I'm gonna ask you the goddamn fuck. question. I don't care about that. Tell him to suck my dick. He just lost him fifty dollars. Tell me, well, send me fifty next time, dickhead. <laughs> hey, John, you're a whole dickhead. Send some more money, stupid. They're saying that Trump did more for black people than Benzino did. Let me think, you, you check this out. Let me, let me, again, let me let me explain this, right? Again, racist white people. Um, <laughs> what what has what has Trump done? The PPP loans was coming in anyways, and you got to pay him back. What the fuck has Trump done other than that? And he didn't even do that. That was coming way back from Obama. What the fuck has Trump done for black people? You you fucking racist fucks. How how did that come out? How did I hear that? That's Landon. It's got to be somebody. I heard. I heard the audio playback. Are we done, Miguel? All hey, right, yeah, we're, 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 hey we're, you're free. To, you're free to leave at any time you want. We appreciate you for tuning in. All right, all right, fellas. Uh, I'm gonna hit you up in a few. All right, all right, dog. All right, Landon, could you uh, align us a little bit better over here so I can talk to Stevie for a second? Yeah, he's got. He's on it. Damn. I hear somebody's hey, audio playing. Is that was yours? It what you expected, bro? Is that your audio playing in the back? That I can hear? Mine? Yeah, I don't know. I just hear... It, it might be... I hear... No, because I hear Landon clicking around, so I hear his audio. Landon, mute your mic. That's probably me. Are you clicking? Not anymore. Oh, okay. All right, but I don't hear the echo anymore. Anyways, what do you feel like... Um, what do you feel like how, how it went? Because you, you can ask I, me. I, I think second. it was very entertaining yeah. for those watching, but pro- productivity, nah. I feel like he feels the same way I feel, dog, because he's so convicted in his stance on things that doesn't matter what the fuck anybody says to him about anything, he's stuck on the way he views things. And y'all were able to make a, a, good, a, a good few points to me that I hadn't thought about before but at the end of the day in 2024 it doesn't change the way that i view things now you know what i'm saying outside of fucking murder and, and raping somebody bro like I'm, it's kind of difficult for me to hold somebody accountable for something they said 
said 30 years ago, mm-hmm. bro. If somebody was to fucking record me saying some shit I said when I was 16, 17, 19, 21, the age I am now, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? That four, five years ago, I was a different motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and then on top of that, and on top of that, the way Benzino shicey because this was already addressed 20 years ago. I guess it wasn't addressed the way Benzino wants it to be addressed and you want it to be addressed. You feel like he should have made like a public statement to everybody, which I understand. But I mean, the you, no one gets to dictate how things happen. He did make reference towards it in the goddamn song, which was, and, and that mind you, I wasn't around during that fucking time. Like the, the old me, if I was around during that time and I heard that shit, I would understand why black folks would have that amount of venom towards him at that point. All that shit would make sense. But if you're trying to tell, you're trying to convince me that Eminem is a fucking racist now, get the fuck out of here, bro. He's done too much for the black community. He's done too much for fucking hip hop. He's, bro, I I would argue that he's uplifted hip hop. And if I would argue that he's uplifted hip hop in the black community more than most through his efforts in hip hop, bro, because he's 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 put more money in everybody's pocket by his existence. Yeah, I think uh, uh, money means something, right? Let me let me tell you where I'm coming from, though. I'm coming from a point of trying to understand another individual's viewpoint on it. When I yeah. sat there and I listened to Benzino speak on it, he was talking about what went on in his time, and also uh, uh, saying, you know, this wasn't just like a little part of a song. It was it mm-hmm. was an hour tape. That, yeah. that they were not able to, uh, you know, it, in the court ruling, that you could display it, but you can only use a portion of the song. You can't use the entire tape because they weren't mm-hmm. going to let that happen to Eminem, right? Like, mm-hmm. obviously, he had good attorneys. He had a lot of money. He has a lot of money. So he was mm-hmm. able to fight a lot off. And he was able to say, you know, he, that, 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 he was able to prove that he was 21 years old at the time, not 15, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. so for him and for those people, I, th- I, I go back to when I'm talking to Charleston White and, and he's sitting here, you know, we have him, we have, we have him up on our show a lot. And something that he said to me, that it was a conversation we were having. And I'm like, you know, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. Mm-hmm. I used to, you know, nigga this, nigga that, nigga this on this platform a lot. And I had to change that because I felt like, you know what, there are there is a certain demographic of people that I do offend by saying that. And Charleston was like, you know, thank you for changing that. Because I, I stopped saying that in episodes a while back, a long while back. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you know, because somebody's grandmother will appreciate you saying that. Yeah. Right. And he was like, that's what people don't understand is like that. It's not a it's OK. You know, maybe you're not offending everyone, but you are offending people that have gone through that. You know what I mean? And so when I think about things like that, I know there's a certain demographic that does want to be spoken to. Yeah, a, a lot of time has passed. You know what I mean? And every, and people do change. What you're saying is perfect, perfectly understandable. I'm not mad at Eminem. I'm not looking for an apology. I'm not one of those people. I'm coming yeah. from a point of understanding that there are people that do want that. Maybe yeah. Benzino is uh, a little bit extra about it, but I also did have plenty of conversations with him where I could see him visibly get frustrated that like they're attacking his daughter, they're attacking his son. And he's spoken, mm-hmm. of, he's, he came up here recently and said like, yo, I, 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 I do have like issues and you could hear him ad- addressing it here, you know, like mm-hmm. with mental health because of all of it. And it, it yeah. has taken over, but it's, it's for him when he's his window, when he looks out his window, he's attacked. And he's like, damn, I can't. Every time I go have an interview, they're like, Eminem, Eminem, Eminem. Every time I fucking go, at it, like, it's, I have to talk about it. I go through an airport, like, fuck you, Benzino. Eminem's the GOAT. He, he has to deal with that. And did he bring but it on himself? Like, yeah. You don't feel like he volunteered to put that target on his back by the decisions he made in the past? He fucked with, a, he fucked with an extremely... You know what I'm saying? Like, I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, I can't be empathetic for a person that volunteers to get that heat on him, bro, because he came with that energy back then, bro. You fucked with Eminem's money with the fucking source and trying to discredit this man as an artist. And, and you know the amount of influence and power and control music has over people. And then you take a motherfucker like Eminem, him? Bro, like you fucking with people's gods at that point. So like he volunteered to put this fucking target on his back so he doesn't live in reality, bro. Like everything he hears negative towards him in regards to Eminem is probably the most vicious shit. Like who on this earth do you think hears more 
racist hatred at themselves more than Benzino. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong, right? Like, there, there is a lot of self-inflicted wounds of what happened with this entire issue uh, between Benzino and Eminem. There's a lot. You know what I mean? There's Most a, of it. Yeah, the it's, majority. It's, it's literally impossible to deny it. It's there. Um, I, I'm Me, personally, I'm a fan of Eminem. I don't listen to his music now. I'm not a fan of his more recent tapes. However, sure. he, he has done a lot. I do agree, you know, through money and through influence, he's done a lot for the communities. And maybe that's him right in his wrongs, right? Because, again, he, I do believe that he changed. I do not believe that he's racist today. I don't. I believe that. I just have difficulty, I just have difficulty holding a motherfucker to this standard at the point where he's 51, trying to make him apologize to the to the minority. Let's keep yeah. it real. It's the minority of people that are ex- pissed at the point of a Benzino where they need to hear an, an but apology. But I do think a conversation would be powerful. It would be powerful, but he doesn't owe that to anybody. Yeah, like, absolutely. he's not he, like the people. And maybe that he opens him, himself up to more if he were to have a conversation. Yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, he's not missing out on no meals about that shit, bro. Like, yeah. if he come, if, 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 if it bothers him that much, he would have said something. But at the end of the day, it's not going to change anything, bro. It's like, he, because it's not racist, bro. It's impossible. It's impossible. Even if I was entertained the fact that he was at one point racist. I mean, I'm a, I, listen, I'm he's a not Buffalo, racist I'm now, bro. Buffalo, if a motherfucker was to, like, hold me accountable for things that I said or did when I was 21 right now, bro, like, I wouldn't be able to walk out in public. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, and, you, and, you, and you, that's, you, that's what I'm saying. Right, I don't, listen to this, listen, I completely listen, agree with you on listen this. Listen to this, though. You got, you got, you got black dudes out here that will talk the most nasty, sadistic shit about, about black women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right now. And they're not going to get this fucking type of energy, bro. But it, it'll never might. hit. It'll never hit as if a, when, it's when not going it to hit, but it's the man. same shit. Like, it's yeah. the same shit. They are targeting a demographic. Maybe you have a black guy talking about white people a certain way or a white wor- white woman talking about black people a certain way. It's the same shit. But, like, we're talking about something that happened decades ago. Right? If it, if, if it happened right now, okay, I'm, I'm looking at it different. Like, oh, what the fuck, M? Come on, dog. What the fuck are you talking about? But, but for him, this it point, did happen bro, in that right now. That's why I said it's just a difference of perspective. Where he's sitting a, at and where you're sitting at. He's like living, he's living in the place. past, bro. I will say this, though. I, I don't I don't live there. Um, obviously, um, be, being from Buffalo, New York, uh, Eminem has done a lot for our community by bringing Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine, uh, West Side cent. Gun. No, well, just specifically people from Buffalo. Yeah. Um, and, 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 you know, having, having my people from Buffalo be put on for me, it was like, like Conway made a statement about it. He's like, I can never look at M wrong. That's my brother for life. But you know, can com- can compare, compare, compare people, rappers right now that put on for hip hop in a in a in a genuineness and authenticity of hip hop more than Eminem right now. What was the question? Like compare, compare said, like it's like who compare, is compare com- like Eminem loves this shit, bro. Like Absolutely. he's a student. Yeah. He 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 fucking. Salutes people. He sees he salutes the OGs in the game, and he's in tune with the newest motherfuckers, the battle rappers and shit. And and puts this motherfucker put Young Ma on his last album, bro. Before she was bubbling, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like this motherfucker lives and breathes hip hop more than anybody. He I won't on, say he does more than anybody. I won't say he no. Does I say it, he but, lives and breathes it more than anybody, bro. Like you think so? Like he lives and breathes it more than because Nas? right now hip hop in such a fucking terrible space. But you think he you know like lives as and far breathes as people it more that than get the Nas. publicity? Say it again. You think he lives and breathes it more than a Nas? At at, at this moment, I, I'm just going based off how people project themselves. Like maybe Nas lives and breathes it in his head, but his projection and how he talks about it and how any any he and he's he's lying. Benzino said Eminem doesn't do interviews. He's done plenty of interviews, but all he talks about is hip hop. And he talks about the, the OGs, and he talks about the newest motherfuckers. He talks about this current status. It's always hip hop oriented, bro. None of that fuck shit. None but of that bullshit. There's a lot of those. There's there's your Wu Tang that does the interview. So I, I won't say it's more than everybody else, but yeah, he's definitely a hip hop head to the core. To the core, yeah. bro. To the core. Like I, for me personally, I ain't never seen nobody like it that will salute motherfuckers and acknowledge motherfuckers and talk like he's so. I also in. say I don't. I don't pay that much attention to Eminem. It's yeah. not like. You know, what I mean, oh, I, I pitch, I pitch, I pitch into everybody. So that's what I do on YouTube, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm extremely tapped in. Yeah. And if you compare it to like the most trending shit in hip hop right now, it's just yeah. worlds apart. 
you know, but you got you still got your J. Coles, your Kendrick Lamars, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, they know they, they yeah, they do they 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 uh they do it within their skill set. Yeah. But like I'm telling you, anytime I don't say anytime, but there's multiple times that I just I've seen Eminem have interviews, talk to people, and he's always big up in people in the past, his predecessors, people that fucking influenced him and the motherfuckers now. I, I have never seen anybody out here right now doing that shit on a larger scale as Eminem. I'm like for the most I've seen J. Cole and Kend- and, and and Kendrick and, and ASAP Rocks and all these motherfuckers salute Eminem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. like Eminem's steady putting on hip hop. All he gives a fuck about is hip hop. That's it. Yeah, but when you look That's at it. what Jay Z is doing, it might not be the same to you, but he's he's changing the landscape of it. You know, with he, things like Jay Z Jay Z is um, putting them in the Super Bowl. Jay Z you know? Jay Z Jay Z is giving people the opportunity to realize their reach. Yeah. Yeah. It's just sometimes it's difficult yeah. to see because of what people yeah. are doing. Yeah. I, again, yeah. I, I don't agree with that, but I hear you. And I definitely agree that um, he's he's one of those ones, right? Like, you can't you can't knock Eminem. Is he in, is he in my top 10? Uh, well, I don't know if I'd put him in my personal top 10. Would I ever yeah. would I ever get mad at somebody saying he's their number one? Hell no. He's earned it. You know what I mean? I think he's done a lot I of bet you, I bet you I could change your mind, though. Okay. I, the floor is yours. No, I'm talking about like off camera, not right now. Oh, was, that Eminem is that Eminem is the greatest ever. No, I'm. You said he's not in your top ten. I bet you, yeah. I, I bet you, I can get you. I bet you, I can get him at least in your top five. I don't know. I, I, but, but I'm, listen, a, I'm a huge hip hop head. I love music. I used to make yeah. music. Yeah. I just my personal preference. Yeah. I can tell you right off the jump. I could go Tupac, yeah. Big Pun, yeah. DMX, yeah. Nas, yeah. Jay Z. But how do you I mean? rate them though? How do you rate them? Like. What's your what's your main measuring bar as far as because for me, me for my, me what like, I would measure I, I guess let me let me let me give you a, an example or a comparison like my goats are entirely different from my favorites like my favorite rapper of all time is Nipsey Hussle Oof, but he can I, I, he I can't can rap at all with fucking Biggie or M or Nas you know what I'm saying but like as far as uh, the the I think there's objective greats in this shit. And if Eminem is not on your top 10, I can convince someone that will be honest yeah. about their reception of when you're talking about con- all the categories, does he, does he fill the boxes? Absolutely. Yeah. He, he definitely 100% can fill every single box. He could, yeah. he could put emotion like in it. Not, it's he kinda, could put emotion. He it's could like put a, the rhyme scheme. About- he could put the, um, the, the multi-syllables, the wordplay. Yeah. He definitely checks all the boxes. I just prefer from other people a lot more. So when yeah, I hear it, subjective. when I, I hear it, it doesn't it doesn't that. hit me the same. You know, yeah, yeah, when yeah, it, yeah, I, again, yeah. a Nipsey Hussle, somebody I'd put over. J, uh, did I say J Cole? J Cole was yeah. somebody I would I would put over him. Um, Joe Budden is somebody yeah. I would put over Eminem. It's and totally so, subjective you know I mean? in that regard, but I just I think objectively. Like if aliens were coming to fucking planet Earth and try to, to figure out what the fuck hip hop was, you can't have that conversation without putting Eminem on that fucking list, regardless if you fuck with him or not. Nah, you gotta go to the old school though. You gotta go to like the Big Daddy Canes, you know what I mean? Uh the Rock Him, you know what I mean, the uh slick ricks you know, of the game. Uh just so many more that I can't even think of because I'm trying to rifle oh. it off. But if we go all the way back, you know, there's a lot a lot I'm of sorry, shit it's there. a sum. It's a sum. You go back to a fucking yeah, he'd be, uh, he'd be, you go back, you go back to Sugar Hill out, Gang. You can definitely bring him out as one of the go, Avengers. Yeah, you go back to Sugar Hill yeah. Gang and you and you fucking put it at Cardi B. Like Eminem is in the fucking middle. No, he's yeah, he's 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 in the mix for sure. You know what I'm saying? So like there's no way you can have a conversation about hip hop objectively and not bro, Eminem has if not has murdered or if not made it debatable with all your top rappers, bro, on a fucking feature. Yeah. But that's also Depends on how you look at it too, because when I listen to Renegade, although he although he was dope, my personal opinion, I thought Jay Z's verses was dope. I give you, I, I give you a fucking fact that you may not know. Did you know that the verse Eminem wrote for Renegade was written years before, and Jay Z had heard that verse from I he had already you. know he had he had already known what the fuck Eminem had written, still wrote the verse he had, yep. and it's still somewhat debatable from the majority of hip hop. Which is it's cool, you know what I mean? Like he he got that record, and he did very. I'm well saying, but it was written before. Like if, if, if they were if they was going at it in that given time, it would been much different. But that original verse it also, was him it and also Royce. might have favored Jay more if they were going at it at the same time because there's a presence there. 
You know what I mean? That you're sitting there next to a goat. Eminem, I, I, Eminem, I, I, Eminem being a student of the game gives would give ultimate respect to sitting right next to Jay Z while he's white, writing his lines right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but at that at that get, at that time, Eminem wasn't the fucking the nicest out of all rappers. Jay Z was the fucking nicest. To my blueprint time, like that was Jay Z's yeah, yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like. Eminem being in the booth, the only person that will go crazy in that regard would be Eminem because he's had also. To that's also when you look back. That was also Eminem's greatest era, by far. What was it 2000, 2000? When did the Blueprint come out? I don't know the exact year. Two thousand something. But now Blueprint when 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 when, Jay, when Hope dropped Blueprint, that was it. Yeah. No, but I'm just that saying at it. that same time is when Eminem had his run. That was his, yeah. that's when you well, were he had like a 10 year yeah. span where he was running the shit. Yeah. All I'm saying is that when Jay-Z, when Jay-Z dropped Blueprint, he was that motherfucker. Right? So he if you want to go overall with everything considered, would you not take Drake over Eminem? No, no. Drake does everything. And, and, and it's, yeah, it's, but it's, I wouldn't it's, even, I wouldn't even, I would, Drake is a rapper, but he's in a whole different league, bro. That motherfucker that's does what I'm everything. Saying. He could be a rapper. He could be a pop star. Yeah, he yeah, could drop yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. He could drop yeah. the, he could drop the bars on you. He's, he's also yeah. phenomenal. It's, it's, but it, I, it, nah, it is I can't, also I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't put Drake in that, especially with the whole fucking Quentin Miller shit and all that, bro. That's a sticky fucking subject, bro. I don't even really write his own shit, bro. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't put him in that shit, bro. Like, I'll tell you, my, my, my objective goats right now, no specific order. And of course, Eminem is there. Eminem, Wayne, K Dot. Eminem, Wayne, K Dot. Uh, Eminem, Wayne, K Dot. Fuck. And it was three stacks until he fucking gave up hip hop and did the fucking flute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, though, my man? Like, that's that's who he is. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm actually happy for him that he was able to do that because it's who he is. Man, fuck you know that, what I mean? Fuck I def- do needed, I want the bars? He, Absolutely. He but needs I to keep him. rapping because last time he rapped, he won Killer Mike a Grammy. Mm. That shows you, it goes to show you that. That's what he's supposed to be doing. I get it. He wants to got. He don't have shit to rap about. Whatever the fuck. Andre is so underrated and he's disgusting. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, he's one of those ones too. Different. I, I was I was hoping he. Uh, I was hoping it was bullshit, and it was just like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I I definitely listened to like a track or two, and I was like, all right, I can't do this motherfucker. Yeah, I, I tried. But, I nonetheless, I still I still am a huge fan of what he does, and I like music, right? So like, I I could listen to any type of genre if it's dope. I don't I don't I love music. Um, that's why I love doing what I'm doing with interviewing with people because you know yeah. you get all sorts of different perspectives, and and I like to be able to be open and say you know what. You know, let Benzino get his shit off and explain where he's coming from. Because it's a different spot. No matter what, the two of you, it's hard for you to agree with each other. Me, I'm just always sitting back and like, okay, I can hear it. You know what I mean? I'm learning you don't and feel I'm like you, don't, you don't think that the, 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 I think the source of the energy that Benzino puts out comes from a racist position. I don't know if it comes from a racist position. I think it comes from, I seen him just get bothered of the amount of attacks when he tried to be cool. Like I've seen him legitimately say, you know what? I, I want this to be over with. I want to sit down with M. And then as soon as he said it, it was like viral. Uh, Benzino can't let it go. The, you know what I mean? And he just gets so fucking frustrated. Like, damn, every time. How, how long have you known him, Benzino? Honestly, for like maybe four years. Bro, this this motherfucker has been doing podcasts and interviews disrespecting Eminem yeah, constantly. Yeah, I, I know bro. it, but he's that's what I'm saying. He gets keeps getting he gets he keeps getting asked questions. And at first he was if he doesn't want the heat, just then, he's, then he gets into it. Like he it it consumed him. I, I it 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 took over his life. You know what I mean? It's every day. That dude like, can't say I'm, I'm I can't I can't walk I can't walk around somewhere with him at the gym without somebody like I mean, bro, the first time I sat down and did an interview with him. I brought in a huge bag of M&M's for him. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit, yeah, the, the white chocolate ones. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was like, yo, I get it. And he was like, oh, man, dope. I appreciate it. I smoke a lot, too. You know, I'm going to eat these. And I was like, damn, did you, did you miss the punch? White M&M's? Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, you know what I mean? So, like, it, he gets fucked with it a lot. He walks through a mall, airport. He gets fucked with it a lot. But I will say this. He's also he's also a, a very authentic dude. And when he when you're out with him, and you see, like, these other celebrities and the way they interact with them, they all show love and they all support him. A lot of people walk yeah. up to him. He's, he's comfortable walking around without security everywhere. He just chills. He's going to stop into your local uh, store 
He's going to sit there, take a picture with you, have a conversation with you. He's an authentic dude. Like He, he does get a lot of uh, shade. And, and because of this Eminem situation, you could tell the frustration is there. But I could tell you right now, like anybody that I know that's ever met him in person, says so like, damn, that dude is actually an ill ass dude. But yeah. I'm not doubting that he, he may be a good yeah. person. I mean, bro, think about it like, at that age. The whole, the with the whole Eminem thing, it's like you 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 walking into a goddamn you walking into a fucking pond with piranhas and not expecting to get bit. Like he does it to himself. Yeah. So it's hard for me to feel bad for that. You know what I mean? I, I definitely, I always told him, I'm like, uh, Z, because, you know, I, I sat down with him and we talked about Shauna Brooks, right? And he's like, um, I never met her, ever. I don't, I don't even have, I don't even want to say bad things about this woman or this man or whatever it is. I don't want to say yeah. bad things. He's like, but it's, like, I'm trying to get rid of it, and then there's, like, a Photoshop picture, and then this comes out, and that comes out, and now now they're like, oh, well, you definitely were with her, and he's like, yo, it just pisses me off. He goes, this red roof in situation with another dude. He's like, Dan, you never, like, traveled around and had no money and just got a fucking hotel room that had two fucking beds in it, and you shared the same hotel? He's like, he's like back in the day, when I was on tour, there was 15 people sleeping in one fucking bed. When they did these tours, all the rappers would have to try to figure out sleeping on the floor, sleeping on the beds to get these tours done. It wasn't the same as it is now. He's like, he's like, but he's like, no matter what, I can't escape it. I'm like, but Benzino, the way you talk and you type, you 100% help fuel the fire. You Facts. know what I mean? Like you, 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 you just a magnet for it. And he's a magnet. We see this in front of our face unfolding every single day. When these he interviews happen. He gets emotional and it's a wrap. He did it in the beginning of this one. I, yeah. I sat there, I spoke to him, I said, chill out, you don't need to uh, let shit agitate you. I've watched enough, uh, I, I ain't watched all your shit, right? But I've watched enough and heard enough to know that you're a good dude and you're able to sit down and have a good conversation, right? Yeah. And, and, and I talked to him about it and he was like, cool, cool, you know, I can't wait to do it. All of a sudden, boom, and I'm like, oh <laughs> shit, what do I do? You know what I mean? Yeah, but again, I, 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 gotta, I gotta get back to my kids and shit, and I did promise the people that, um, the people that came over to my page and shot over their cash app, uh, hit that subscribe button on my page, I'm gonna give somebody $100, so um, I don't know if Landon's on here or somebody, you could just go ahead and pick somebody uh, randomly, I got a couple screenshots, <laughs> just throw those cash apps in there right now on the Danza Project YouTube page, uh, Steve, I, I'd love to have more conversations with you in the future. This was dope. Uh, shout out to you and what you're doing and your platform. Appreciate you, bro. Um, I, 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 I say appreciate the look, bro. Like I, that came out of nowhere, bro. The, 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 the fucking family sold me. Like, hey, Benzino talking shit. But the only reason, reason, only reason why Benzino talking shit because you dropped the fucking name. So. Yeah. Appreciate that, yeah. Brody. And yeah, I'm always down to fucking tap in, bro. Yeah. I love this shit, dog. Shout out to guy, my music, guy Mike back in Buffalo. Day, and I'm definitely with the fucking smoke. So yeah. <laughs> shout out to my guy Mike in Buffalo that put me on to you too. He he, yeah. he showed me all the uh shit you had going on. I was like, damn, this yeah. is dope. He was Make he sure was, tap into I, my channel too, Stevie yeah. Knight. He was actually teaching me, like, he's like, you need to be more like him. The way he talks to his people, he's like, you're always talking in the middle of a big-ass interview, and you never talk to your fans. And I'm like, you know yeah. what? Might be right, because I've been getting so sucked into these conversations that I forget that we're, we're literally live streaming most of the time. Yeah. I did an interview yesterday that I'm going to talk to you about in a second. It's going to be the craziest interview of the year. It involves... Damn, even if I say it, it's going to fuck it up, right? But it involves... It's, it's spooky, it, inv it? It, it involves... No, nobody's seen this one yet. I can't even I can't even air it due to like le legal obligations and shit like that. It, it involves one of the largest trials in the world. Um, oh, you're talking about some YSL shit? Oh, shit. It, it, it's, 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 it's major, and there's a lot of revealing shit in there. Um, oh, Lord. Don't get but, caught up, bro. Yeah, I know. That's that's why I'm making sure it's all good. <laughs> Don't get caught up, dog. But I will be dropping it uh, in about a week from now. And yeah. I, and I will be dropping a little trailer to it to talk my shit. Um, but I, the reason I'm saying that is we always have a lot of dope people that come up here. If there's ever any uh, the artists that you, you want to jump in <laughs> mid-fucking interview and talk your shit with them too, you know what I mean? Come through. We could just, I could have Landon set it up. And you could just pop up on the screen and you could start talking your shit with him. It don't matter Let's who do it is. And I got everybody coming up. Let's here, do so it. I see, bro. Yeah. I see, dog. Yeah, so. Uh, again, yeah. I appreciate you. Make sure you follow Stevie Knight at his YouTube page. We could go ahead and pick a winner for this $100. I feel like it's, you know, how do, how do I, you want to pick somebody? You just want to pick, you want, if you want to head over to my YouTube page on your phone, and you can just pick somebody that, that 
fucking throw some throws a so ass somebody ass. in the comments or somebody they're, they're all they're donated. all throwing up their uh, landed sad damn landed you're gonna give the w- winner that the same. <laughs> is that their that's not even their cash app yeah it is it is yeah their cash app is that name I mean unless they oh, just put wait they just put maybe a that is a hashtag there. Oh, no, no. I take it back. It's a cash app. <laughs> Their cash app says, what does it say? <laughs> M&M Trash 2024. <laughs> That's their cash app. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey. I bet your fucking subs hate Eminem, huh? Nah. nah. Not at all. No, I think nah, they, they, they probably hate Benzino. Word. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, it's, it's the same. Like we we grew our our base off of a lot of hip hop, a lot of battle rap, and so when Benzino comes in there talking, you know, a lot of that battle rap culture, they fuck with him. And so yeah. when he when he comes in there and talks, they they, I mean, every time he's on the platform, you could open it. Unpredictable. Um, every time bro. he's on the platform, you could open it. You could open it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Papa. Come here. You say hi. He could stay here. I got him. I'm about to sign off, anyways. <clears throat> go, buddy. Say say hi. Say hello. Hello. What's up, man? <laughs> so, uh, is is that who we're gonna is that who we're gonna pick? This this is my son Michael, by the way. You know, my baby boy right here. You know, you told me you got your kids and stuff. Congrats to you, and you know, shout out to the one on the way. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so we'll pick a winner. We'll give that person a hundred dollars, yeah. Lane. And if you could just do uh, send over there, make sure it's uh, good and that's actually their cash app, though. Um, but so I'm just coming it, again. It's uh, just La pick Sombra somebody. Is La the Sombra? User. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just go ahead and g- grab their info. Um, type it in again, whoever it is, and make sure again that you follow uh, that you go over to Stevie Knight's page. That's K N I G H T. How do you spell that? Stevie? S-T-E-V-I-E. Yep. K-N-I-G-H-T. All right. My man. So YouTube definitely... band on Instagram. Okay. So, my man, let's definitely talk soon. Um, yes, I'll sir. send over that $100, and then, you know, you have a good night. All right, brody. Peace. All right. Landy, you can go ahead and cut it. All right, brody. Peace. All right, dog.